Every summer, my dad would take us to my grandma's house for two weeks. She lived on a farm out in the country. And um, all year long, I dream about going to grandma's house for that two week period. Well, there was a creek nestled on grandma's farm. And to me, to my young eyes, it was wide and deep. And so we would hike down to the creek and grandma would pack our lunch in a handkerchief and tie it on the end of a stick. And we'd uh, hike our way down to the creek to spend the afternoon there fishing with homemade fishing poles and spending all afternoon at the creek. Well, this creek seemed miles away. And as I said earlier, wide and deep. What I found out later, years later, when I got older, we would drive past this creek and it was like, dude, there's like maybe an inch of water in there. And it was teeny tiny. But to a five-year-old, it seemed like the Mississippi River. Well, sometimes life is like that. And I don't know if you remember the story when um, there was a storm and the disciples were freaked out, right? And um, Jesus' response was, you guys, you know, calm down, have a little faith. And, uh, and he calmed the storm and the disciples are like, what kind of man is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. And so that's Matthew 8, 27, by the way. So we're dealing with stuff we've never seen before. And it's scary. And uh, it seems wide and deep to us. It's affecting us all across the globe. Uh, but here's what I know. Here's what we know from Scripture. God's got this. Even the wind and the waves obey him. And certainly he's got this.